call. How does your strategy help society and how do you measure this? Well, good afternoon, Annabelle. Thanks very much for inviting me um, to this video. I'm Civitas Social Housing PLC, invest in social housing across the United Kingdom, providing quality homes for people who have the highest vulnerabilities in society. So we're talking about working age people who have learning disabilities, mental health issues, suffering from autism, and other uh, care needs, including physical disabilities. And traditionally, people with these needs were housed in large-scale institutions, which have proven grossly inappropriate for their social needs. So the portfolio that we've now invested in, which is around a billion in size, and houses four and a half thousand people, provides homes in the community for people with those lifelong needs. Thanks, Paul. Jeremy, how does your strategy help society and how do you measure it? Thanks, Annabelle. Um, so, so we target investments benefiting specifically more disadvantaged groups, tackling issues such as homelessness, domestic abuse, children on the edge of care. We invest in three asset classes, high impact housing, debt for social enterprises and social outcomes contract. And the common characteristic, I guess, is investable solutions that, that, that tackle those challenges. In terms of measurement, uh, impact management is really central to our approach. We consider impact at, at every stage of our process. We measure impact using the impact management, management project dimensions of who, what, how much contribution and risk. And the focus for us really is that who, who is the, who is the group benefiting, but also the contribution. How is this, you know, what is the additional benefit here versus, versus the status quo? Other important parts of measurement for us is, is use of user voice data. This gives us a, a good understanding of whether impact and well-being more generally is being delivered. And in some of the areas we deliver in such a social outcomes contract, the financial returns are directly linked to the measurable outcomes that are being achieved in areas such as health and social care and employment. Right. So really helping some of the more vulnerable people in society. That's what I've gained from both of you so far. Kenneth, how, do you, uh, how does your strategy help society and how do you measure it? Well, of course, a society changes, Annabelle. And... Uh, if you go back 50 or 70 years, we used to look after our grandpas and nannies and all the rest. And today, both, both members of uh, the typical modern family are probably out working. So who looks after the over 85 year olds? Uh, we do. Um, especially in the last 18 months of their lives and a, a great society it cares for its seniors and honours its seniors. So that's how our strategy helps society. We provide great facilities for our seniors. And how do we measure that? Happy families, relational families. They love our nannies and grandpas. Um, we also measure it with uh, some pretty useful websites like carehome.co.uk measures happiness and contentment. We measure it by personal visits where we see what's happening and uh, understand the, the local areas. We measure it with some target teen learning tools. We measure it with uh, fabulous facilities with great wet rooms. We measure it actually also with viability of the underlying asset. Uh, does it have a regular visit attendance uh, and lots of occupancy? So lots of good measures also.